As already discussed during the interview I had with Mark Renda on Taiwan, regulatory affairs in Asia is no yoke. Um, more and more upcoming regulations in Asia are piling up. Therefore, it's my pleasure to talk to Joe Lee today of SATEC, the Safety and Health Technology Center, of which you are the senior researcher and director. Joe, welcome. Uh, SATEC is somewhat unique. You work both for the government and you support the industry. Could this work as a role model for other countries? I should not say it's a role model, but it's unique in Taiwan, also demanded in Taiwan, because we learn quite a lot from international practice about the chemical management. We recognize the importance of uh, stakeholder work together, and SATEC can be, be a bridge among those stakeholders with strong technical background, so we don't need to dodge around and uh, go to the wrong direction. Could you share with us um, uh, where we are today in the revamping of the chemicals management program in Taiwan? So we try to learn from the, the good example and some challenging examples and find out the really need for Taiwan there. So the entire process is really a, a cooperation among all these stakeholders, not just the industry, not just the regulatory bodies, not just the NGO, it's the joint efforts of this. So right now we are looking forward to continue this momentum. The starting point uh, of the revamping of the chemicals management program was at the Ministry of Labor. Uh, later, they were joined by the Environmental Protection Agency. Mm -hmm. um, I heard that they had not always the same visions on the registration and the outcome. Uh, how is the atmosphere now between the two uh, organizations? Yeah, it's always a very interesting chemistry among stakeholders and uh, multi-agencies cooperation. It's not unique in Taiwan. So right now they have to work together to come up with the same language on the chemical management scheme and also to include both sides demand, also both sides, both sides scope to make sure the system is suitable for Taiwan's scheme over there, as well as uh, comply with the objective of both regulations. Governmental expertise is needed uh, in order for the new chemicals evaluation and risk uh, assessment. Mm -hmm. um, industry is granted uh, a two years grace period until 31st of December uh, 2015. Probably it's also beneficial uh, for MOL and uh, EPA to align all their uh, uh, things they have to do. Well, that's uh, good news that uh, both agencies already uh, establishing their uh, in-house expertise as we are speaking right now. Thanks to this regulation, both agencies got uh, additional resources from our central government. So eventually, both agencies will have in-house expertise on this matter and the SARTEX in the process to help both agencies to build a capacity building program. And will there also be something like uh, a risk assessment committee like uh, they have in Helsinki? We will uh, help the uh, interagency to set up the committees, not just limited to the risk assessment, of course the hazard assessment, exposure yeah. assessment will be included in this in these committees in here. So this is, a, again, there's a joint effort to try to bring all these possible resources together to do the review and give us the best recommendation and the suggestion for the government really to make their decision. I, I do remember that uh, SATEC and yourself were heavily involved almost every quarter. There was a, yeah, a training of industry, mm -hmm. what to expect. Still happening every quarter or? Uh Yes, the, the training section is still ongoing. This is the benefit that the, uh, the, the, the government would like to devote its resources to help the stakeholders or interest, interest citizens in there. And this arrangement will happen every quarter as planned. How are articles regulated in uh, Taiwan? So right now, with this both regulation in place, we want to start with the article that would happen in the workplace, in the industry side to comply with the article uh, requirement and leave the article for the consumer side to the next stage as a later priority. So the trend is there and we are going to work on 
to make the international definition possible as a harmonized definition. And what is the role of uh, BSMI, the Bureau of Standard Meteorology Institute? Mm -hmm. What is their role? Well, uh, BSMI is working very hard on setting international uh, standard and a national standard in Taiwan over there. For example, the GHS, EU uh, GHS, uh, BSMI just finished the uh, update to comply with the latest version of a GHS Purple Book. For industry, they're always hesitant to share confidential business information, CBI, which they have to do to governments. Mm -hmm. um, but how is that information protected? Well, uh, I can assure you, uh, CBI is on the top, top priority of both agencies when we are dealing with this implementation processes in here. Right now, substance information, identity, case number, ingredient and percentage and usage can be protected by CBI arrangement with your application. And uh, we also are working on to uh, disconnect the uh, 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 companies' uh, identity from the substance on our uh, national inventories there. But at the same time, we need to take, in ca we need to take care of the uh, general public disclosure uh, requirements over there. So it is a balanced way. A final question, what do you believe is the hardest element to implement? Well, for Taiwan's process, industry need to uh, pay uh, attention and keep close, uh, close eyes on what is get going right now in Taiwan because the guidance is, is, develop, is developing, it will come up quickly and some other installation will be in place. So I would say it's, it's a joint effort that we can work together, polish the system and make a system is workable and practical to all the stakeholders in here. So. Thank you for your participation in this program. I want to say thank you for quite a lot of international players over here. In the past, that they provide quite a lot of suggestions, comments, and good or bad, and to do or not to do. We put it on our table and study thoroughly to, um, to come up with our assistance in here. But once again, we encourage all the stakeholders to give us opinion, comment, and suggestion. Nice Joey, again. thank you. Also, you thank you very much for your useful insights. Uh, I see the piles of legislation are at least neatly stacked. So I hope it will make it easier for industry to balance their yoke. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.